This is Danny Gartney, aka Lunatic Loomer. Well, today I am going to show y'all how to make the mistletoe. We are, I have them twisted around just because, you know, I think it looks a lot better like that. And let it do its style. Or y'all could just straighten them up and um, make them flat. Depends on how you want them. Things. So, but see, I had tied the end when I was through with it. I tied the corners, the last part of the corners of it, and uh, to hold them together so that the leaves won't be flying all over the place. But I kind of, you know, twist them a little because I I liked it like that. You know, hang it up. It looked like mistletoes. Then I made these little berries. So I made three leaves and six berries. And you're going to be using at least... 300 green bands and 60 red at least okay so so far I have made two and I left them on the hook because you're gonna need them you're gonna have to keep get yourself another hook because you're gonna have to leave these on the hook because when we make another one we're gonna put it on here and then we're gonna get a band and we're gonna tie it all all the way out so make sure you have an extra hook to so keep them on here. Okay, so so far I have a leaf and two berries on these here on each. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you all how to make them. So I'm going to work with one band. And you put this here, wrap it around. And you get two bands each. We're going to be working with two bands every time. So grab two. And we're going to chain. Make chain. Let's chain them like this. The first one is just going to be two chain. One. And two. Just like that. Okay. So we have two done. Straighten it up if you can. Slide it over just a little bit on top of it. It's not going to hurt it. And then you get another one band to start off with There's always one band to start off with but it's going to be two bands to make the chain this one you get another two bands and you're going to just make one okay just going to make one that's it for that okay and slide that down just a little bit so you can work with the other one so we're going to wrap that around again uh, okay, and we're gonna get we're gonna make two chains just like this one. So we get two bands each. Pull through. We get another two. We just pull through there too. So now we have all what we need to put on this hook. Slide all these down a little bit, just like that, okay? And let's grab two bands. Like I said, we're going to be working with two bands all the way through. So just, just grab these two and pull through all of them, just like this. Go through all of them. You know, if you can try to pull them all through at one time or pull through one at a time, you know. But I'm used to doing it so I can... Just pull down and uh, pull all through. Now we got this first set done. Now we need a... We've got to get one of these. Um, get one of these little... Yeah, I have too many of these. Okay, i got to get one of these little stitch markers. Okay, so when we're done with this, we need to go ahead and put it through. Like this. Okay. And pull that off so we can hold it in. And just put it on the side. So the next row. We're going to be making rows. Okay. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six rows of the leaves. We're going to have two. Two chains. And then we're going to move it up to three chains. And then the last two is going to be four chains. 
So it's two, three, and four. That's what we're going to be working with. So the next, the next row is going to be another uh, two bands. So two uh, chain two. We wrap this here. Get two of these here. That up. Straighten it up a little bit here. Make them look straight. The next two. So we have, we chain two right here. So we've done that. Now you grab this here. And we're going to put it back on the hook. All the way through. Go through both of them. Like that. Okay, and pull this out. Okay, so we just slide this down just a little bit. Okay, slide all that down. Then we're going to make another two chain on the other end. Just grab two of these. Just one. And then we're going to make one more chain. Straighten it up a little bit. Grab two more bands. Like that. Pull through. See? And then when you're through with these two chains, straighten it up a little bit. When you do with the two chains, slide these down off onto the thing. Okay, slide them off. Grab another two bands. Here. Put it at the end of this thing here, and then we're going to pull out through all. You could just go through a couple of them at a time. That way you know you're going through all of them. Like that. See? So, then again, grab this thing here. And... Pull that through like this. Okay, and take it off this thing, off of the hook here. So we'll just keep it on here, okay? So our next row is gonna be the next step is gonna be get two, two more on each side, three chain. So basically it's the same thing, doing the same thing over and over, like this. I think my camera's shaking just a little bit because I don't have it supporting very well, but I'm sure it's not shaking that much. And then we get another one, the second one. And then three. We're doing three chains with two bands to pull through. So we straighten it up like this. Then we get this middle hook again. Each time you make one row of this, you get this here. Pull it up a little bit, that way you can slide it all through. Take that out for a minute. Slide it all the way down. Then we're going to get another one of these here, just one to start off with. Grab two bands. I'm going to make three chains again. One. And the third one, three. Just like that. See? And once you're done with that, just pull this back down here. Get two more bands here. Take this by here, and you're going to pull out through all of them, all the way down. Put this back up. See, just like that. And we're going to make one more row of three. And then we're going to do two more rows of four. 
So we got two, three, and three, and four, and four. So we'll put this back onto the little hook, just marker, whatever you want to call them. Put it on that. If y'all don't have these, um, it might be hard to put it on those little bitty C shape or S uh, the S shape um, S shape hooks. Just get a twister or a tie band, and it just you know put it through here if you can. If you don't have any of these, anything that will work, bobby pin, safety pin, whatever you have, just slide it through here. Okay. And the next, uh, well, it's going to be another three chain. So just grabbing two every time. I'm going to make three chain again. Two. I'll straighten it up a little. And three. Like that. See, so we have that on there. Grab this thing again. Pull up on this thing here and down here. And kind of get that on back onto the hook. Slide this down a little bit. That way we can work with the other. Grabbing two again. I'm gonna make three chain on this side as well. Oop. And three. Then we'll slide this back down like that. Grab another two band. And pull through all just like that. Okay, let's put this here. Now we're going to do two more rows of four, chain four. So, let's put this back on this thing, take this off now. And we're going to be chaining four. Two bands. Two, three, and four. Straighten it up a little bit. Make it straight. Get this thing back again. Put it back on the hook. Slide this over. And we're going to make another four chain on the other side. Slide this down, it's getting in my way. Callie's running around the room here. And then, uh, that's two. Three. Four. So we've got that taken care of. Slide all this back down. Hold on to this interval. Come on. 
It starts to get a little bit thicker and thicker and it might come off of your hook. Uh, oh, we get two more. Pull all the way out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Came apart. Oh, I'm lucky. I lucked out on that. One more time. Pull all the way out. Like that. There we go. See how nicely made. And we're going to do one more four chain on each side. And then we're going to go on to make the berry. Mm, 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 compete with me. Like right that. Still didn't want to get on there. Okay, now we got it on. Okay, the one more set of four chain. One, two, three, and four. Slide that on there. Slide it down. Another four chain. Slide all the way down. Hold on to this. Oh, come on. Come out like to straighten it up a little bit. Get these two. Pull all the way out. Okay, now we can just leave it on the hook, but just get you up another hook. I have plenty. Sorry, move it around again. Because I'm sitting on my, uh, uh, what do you call it, recliner. And it's 2.30 in the morning and I'm making a tutorial. Can you believe it? It's like I never go to sleep. Yeah, right. Okay, anyway. So now we're going to make the berries, okay? We're going to make two more berries because I've already made two on this one and two on this one. So we got this one already started. So on the red one, we're going to put one of these, okay? And grab five band five band all oh, five get this thing in like this put it on here and loop through here put it up like that see and grab one band and pull through like that and come out tie it up a little bit okay and set it down right there 
I'm just going to make another one. Go have five of a band. Pull through. Like we did the other one. Put that up. Then we grab this one. Put it on the hook. And pull through here. Just like that. See? And then what you do, take this and put it over one of the berries. Pull over to the top on the other berry, really. See? And now it should look like this. Put that down. Now, do another one. Five more bands. Four, five. Pull through. Pull up. Kind of straighten it up a little bit where it looks nice and neat. Then you get this here. Pull it apart a little bit. And what we need to do is you're going to need to get in between the two bands on here. Like that. See? Pull through. Oh no. Come out. And then take this little thing here. The rest of the band. This is the hard part. And put it over. Like this, and put it over the berry. There. That was kind of hard, but I'll be making another one. So that makes the uh, straighten this up a little bit. That makes the um, the berries. Put that down. We'll do it again. Five. We we'll get one band. Tie it. Like that. Put that down. Loop that up. Take five more bands. Make the second berry. Pull that up. Straighten it up. Like that. Get this other one, grab the end of it, pull through, and loop it over to the other cherry, or berry, whatever you want to call it, and it'll come out like this, and the last one, Get five more, rubber band, one, two, three, four, five. You could put four rubber bands if you want, but I put five because it makes it more fuller look. More, <laughs> the bigger, the more bands you put, the bigger, the bigger. But you don't want to go over more than five because you might break the rubber band when you're trying to pull out on the other. Well, I'm just trying to fix it. And then you get these two here. And get in between the two bands there, see? Just pull out one side of the band. And then take this and pull it out all the way through. And then take this. Try to open it up a little bit and pull it through. That was easy. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. So, so now we have two there. Okay. So back up to where we were using. 
what we're going to do, get one of these, put it on one, one of the uh, things here, see, put it on just one, pull that out, okay, then to open this up here a little, see how some of the, the rubber bands are right here, get a little hole when you pull it apart. Just slide it in through there. Just a little piece of the rubber band. Slide that down. Take this here. Put this back up on the hook again. Like that. Get this other one. Find a little place where you can uh, put it inside, like that. So I put it through. Okay, put that behind there, and then we get two more of these bands, and we're gonna pull through all of them. So pull through the cherry first the berry or whatever, and then through here, and the next one, pull all the way through all of them, I'm going to do that again, came, came apart, hey, hang on. Oh, grabbing these two bands again. And we're going to want to put it through all of them. See, through this here, here, and there. On all those four little loops. So, pull this back. That way you can see what you're doing. And then you pull out through all of them. And there you go. You have it. Pull this out a little bit to even it, the rubber band, like that. Then we get this other one that you need to keep them on the hook, on one of your hooks, okay? Because we're going to slide this one onto this hook also, like that. Okay, so let's do that. Now I have all three of them on this hook, okay? So, bend them down where you can see all the rubber bands. You can see all of them. Just grab two rubber bands and pull through all of them. There's one, two, and three. You pull up like that. We got that taken care of, all of them. This time, get one band or two, don't matter. And I just get two for stronger support in case one of the bands breaks or something. All right, just get two more of these, put it through here, and you're gonna tie it. Okay, tie that on here like that. And of course, you just loop them through, tuck them under to hide away the band. Well, at least that'll do just a little bit. Okay, put this to the side a little bit. Maybe you can work with the back. There's no back or front, so really, depends on where you're putting all your berries at, you know. So I basically have them like this. So, 
So we already done with the the Holly Berry. Now the mistletoe, Holly Berry, whatever you want to call it. See, you know, we'll straighten them all out. See how they're all. Okay. You can lay them flat or you can just let it be dangling, curl up a little bit. You can make them like that if you want. It doesn't matter how you want to do it. Or you can just make it like that. And you know, just one more thing with that and we're done, okay? Well, we've got to hide that little piece there. Yeah, take that out of there. Put it behind here, I guess. Just hide it. Okay, anyway, turn this around. Now you see these two last, the, the last row. What you do on these last two rows. Just go underneath the first chain and this one right here, like this, underneath it. Cause that's the back side, so you can fix all your berries later and put them on the front. But for now, just hook these two together, just grab a band here, and tie it, okay? And then we'll tuck it in, tuck it under. And over here, the same way, you get the last two in here, and this two, pull this one up right here, put it together. Got one side of the, the stitch and one part of the stitch over here, see? So you want to tie those two together. Okay, and then just hide the string in here, put it in there. But I'm just doing it fast. So over here, same thing. Get these berries here. So. Take these two. Put all these berries under there. See? You can put all the berries through the hole. Take this here, put the berries over it. The last little, the end of one part of the stitch and the other part of the stitch. Okay, and just tie them together like that. And then, how you hide them is just pull through these little stitches here, one right here, go through all of them. Go through all through those here and pull down and that hides it, that takes care of it right there, see. Pull tight and make sure it stays tight. Go through it under the stitches here, one on this side if you want. Well, all on one side, don't matter. That takes care of that. And then the other side. Go to one of the stitch here. One up like that. And just basically takes care of all that for you. And there you have it. And here is your mistletoe. And now I have two. Thanks for watching. Bye now.